What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Munadira, and this is Castle Chaps, where we talk about all things home decor to interior design and everything in between. Today, I'll be talking about six kitchen interior design trends that are worthwhile. They're not only timeless, but they should definitely be on your radar for your next renovation project. Or if you're buying a kitchen, you should definitely consider them. Kitchens have come a long way from being a basic place to cook and prepare a meal to being really the heart of the home. Kitchens are now a place where a family gathers together after a long day to catch up, to cook together and have a good family life. Therefore, it's important that the design and aesthetic of the kitchen reflects this important value. These six interior design trends will not only improve the design aesthetic, but also function of your kitchen as the heart of the home. One, matte black kitchens. Are you looking for something striking, bold, interesting, and different? Then a matte black kitchen is going to be your answer. Traditionally, many are scared of matte black kitchens. This is because they can come across as being too daring and bold. But the secret in nailing a bold kitchen is to finishing it right. There are different ways in which you can execute a black kitchen. But for a more dramatic and impactful look, you really want to have a black on black kitchen scheme, meaning your backsplash and your cabinets are going to be black and this is going to be very dramatic. But if you want to go for a more contemporary look whilst introducing some warmth into your space, you can mix in some natural materials such as wood, which will really warm up the space and create some contrast. But if you're a bit on the modest side, the good part of it is you don't have to color all the cabinets black. You can choose to either paint the lower half cabinets of the kitchen in black or to use the island as the focal point and thus painting it black. If you're planning on implementing a black kitchen, be aware that you may need to bookend it or to sort of bound it within a space. And the way you can do this is to create a focal point which is opposite to your black kitchen cabinets, but which is also in the same hue, meaning it will balance each other out and lock that color into one space. Two, mixing metals. Oftentimes people are a little bit scared and conservative when it comes to the use of metal and hardware within kitchens. It is the trend that if you're using gold, you stick to gold, or if you're using brass, you stick to brass, and so on. But as a general principle, what's more important is that the choice of your hardware should match the interior style of the kitchen. It doesn't necessarily have to be uniform, but actually, if you want to introduce interest and playfulness within your space, a good way but subtle is to introduce different kinds of metals. So for example, instead of sticking to gold or brass, why not play around with the same warmth of a metal, but with different types of it. So if you're going for warm metals, you would perhaps do brass and copper or gold and copper. But if you're going for cold tones, you would do shades of silver and other cold metals. To really hone in that point, always remember that even in a kitchen, the same design principles apply, meaning you have to do it in proportion and with harmony. The general underlying principle that you have to keep in mind is that you can layer different kinds of metals on top of a neutral base. Your neutral base, for example, is going to be black. And on top of the black, you can choose warm or cool metals, but you have to choose one side. 
if you choose the warm metals you can then have a different mixture of black gold and nickel that way your mixed metals are cohesive three statement backsplash the purpose of a backsplash is to keep the kitchen spot free and easy to clean but in it lies an important design opportunity the rising trend is to make the countertops match the backsplash meaning the use of the same material on the countertop as well as on the backsplash what this does is it creates a seamless and elegant look which makes the kitchen looks a little bit more put together to achieve a modern look you can contrast the kitchen backsplash and countertop with a different material you can either go for something matte or glossy depending on what style you want to go for for a very contemporary and steam streamlined look you want to make it matte but for a more glamorous and elegant look you can have the cabinets being glossy another interior design principle that you can incorporate in this case is the use of emphasis and you can achieve this by installing some led lights whilst they will be quite important to turning attention to your backsplash they also give an opportunity to provide task lighting which will be important as you are carrying out the different tasks in the kitchen like cutting and prepping of foodstuffs if you choose your backsplash and countertop surface to be tile you can tile up to the cabinets or all the way to the ceiling in order to create a more streamlined and contemporary look and it also gives you the opportunity to draw the eye upwards making the walls look taller than they actually are four architectural pendants it is often the case that lighting is left until the very end of the consideration when planning kitchen but actually i encourage you guys to make it an integral part of the planning process this is because lighting in a kitchen is not only essential but also can be an opportunity to create a focal point within the kitchen remember that to create a successful lighting plan for your kitchen or for anywhere else for that matter it has to be layered meaning different layers of lighting have to be incorporated task lighting ambient lighting and also focal points or architectural pendants to create a perfect focal point using lighting you want to hang it over a kitchen island if you have one for the past few years we have seen a lot of people incorporating the trio of pendants over the kitchen island but for a more integrated and compact design you can choose to go for one bold lamp which will immediately catch the eye's attention and become the focal point in the kitchen When selecting the perfect light to go, think of something that juxtaposes the normal structure of a kitchen. Usually a kitchen is modular and rectangular, so you can think of options that are more curvy and circular. That way you create something which is more sculptural and different, thus creating interest in your kitchen. 5. Kitchen wallpaper in line with the philosophy that kitchens have evolved from being basic places where a meal is prepared and cooked to being more the heart of a home, it then makes sense to make it feel like an integral part of the living room. An easy way to achieve that is by installing wallpaper. If we can paint and tile our kitchen, then why shouldn't we apply wallpaper too? To really make the kitchen feel like an extension of the living room, wallpaper will add depth, movement, and interest in the space. Not only is wallpapering your kitchen an easy over the weekend DIY, but it is also a low commitment 
way to add pattern and movement in your kitchen. Six, kitchen with personalities. Kitchens have really moved away from being very streamlined and traditional places to looking more like spaces where people actually live in. This means that we see a lot of people displaying personal items in the kitchen like books and other family heirlooms. This makes so much sense because after spending so much time in the kitchen, we want them to reflect our personality and our lifestyle. Curated clutter is the name that we interior designers are labeling this. This really gives it a more local vibe and not really stressing about how particular or how organized your kitchen should look. The important elements that you have to remember here are that the items that you choose to display have to be meaningful, useful and personal. That way you don't have to feel like it's clutter but rather displaying who you really are. One way to look at this is that it actually adds organization and functionality into the kitchen because you are able to reach all those everyday items that you use, thus increasing your efficiency when you're using your kitchen. 